All right. Shalom. All praise is due to Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shai. Okay. Uh, it's going to be real quick. You know, concerning Job, the 20th chapter. And we know the 20th chapter is uh, what's to come. All right. For Esau, Edom. Which are the Edomites, the so-called white man upon the face of the earth. Okay. And as these uh, prophecies come true, man. All right. All that's uh, said in this verse. Shall be to his end. All right. Despite what the naysayers are saying. Okay, that the Edomites are already extinct. Okay, and we know they're saying this in order to get themselves out of the hot seat, but we know it to be true that those days have not came as of yet. But when you read Job the 20th chapter it speaks about his demise okay after when you get past the uh I'll say the twenty third the 22nd verse and 23rd on down okay so I'm just going to read and get some precepts out of the, the verse itself to prove that uh, the so called white man is Esau and his end is coming and has not came already alright so I'm going to read from verse 23 it says when he is about to fill his belly God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating and that just means that you know uh, pursuing to Revelations the 13th chapter okay when it gets down to the RFID chip and the uh, uh numbering of the people through the beast system okay that the fork is going to be knocked out of his hand so to speak all right and then all manner of wickedness are going to befall him all right and the first thing that's going to befall him he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow still shall strike him through so first things first because All the things that he thinks he has set up for it to be uh, a flawless victory, all right, is going to backfly on him. And all the nations are going to be mad and shoot their arrows upon this place, which are the ICBM missiles, okay? It's a lot to look forward to, so-called Edom, all right? Because you're going to pay for all the hardships that you're dealt out on the face of the planet of earth okay so that bow up still shall strike him through okay it's talking about the ICBM missiles that's coming upon Idumia aka Babylon the Great alright it is drawn and cometh out of the body yea the glittering sword come up, cometh out of his gall terrors are upon him okay and that's just talking about the silos that hold the missiles okay right so the glittering sword again is the ICBM missiles all right and terror is upon him because as you can see through the news with uh all this talk with nuclear arms and who's firing what and you know Russia getting back with with uh Iran Okay, the heat is on, man. Okay, and they know the scriptures because they're the devils. All right, 
in order to deceive somebody from the truth. All right. Or to deceive somebody with a lie, I should say. You have to know the truth. Okay. <clears throat> and that's making him afraid. All right. Verse 26, all darkness shall be hid in his secret place. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. All right. So let's get this, uh, this word real quick. Tabernacle. Slacking. One second. Hmm. One second, brothers. I'm trying to look up this word. All right, here we go. All right, tabernacle, the uh, transliteration in the Hebrew is ochel, okay, and it's tent, dwelling, home, habitation, all right? So it says that all darkness shall be hid in his secret place. And a fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. So we know that uh, Esau, Edom, Gats, Broad, you know, they have different military installations in every country. Uh, and basically, this is given uh, truth to that, that all missiles shall be shot into Babylon the Great because where does Edom dwell at? What is, where is his home? And it said it shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. So all the the people of Edom and other nations in Israel, the two thirds of Israel, are gonna get burned up in his tabernacle. And that's all right because what they are going to do is presumably take that mark of the beast which is the image of his system and of him all right so they're going to be burned up that's what verse 26 uh puts out all right and his secret secret places It's him, okay? His his whereabouts, all right? Which is here, the land of Idumia, all right, brothers? Um, verse 27 says, The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him, all right? The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. 
This is the portion of a wicked man from God and the heritage appointed unto him by Yahweh. Okay, so let me get a precept for verse 27 real quick. And let's see, let me get uh, Malachi 3 and 5. All right, and it says, I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness, and against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against false swearers, and against those that oppress the Ireland and its wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the strange from his right, the stranger from his right, and fear not me, said the Lord of hosts. Okay, and that's the first thing that he's going to do to. This is why he's going to do this to Esau, Edom, okay? For all the wickedness that he done unto his people. Because we're the stranger, okay, that he turned aside with all the uh, deceit, all right? He kept us from knowing that we were God's chosen people, all right? Let's go to uh, verse 28. It says, The increase of his house shall depart, and his good shall flow away in the day of his wrath. All right. Let's look that up. Revelations 18 and 17. Okay. It says, for in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every ship mast, and all the company and ships, and all sellers, and as many as trade, but still stood afar off. Okay. And go down some more. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads, and they cried, weeping and wailing, saying, alas, alas, that great city where we wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her coastliness for in one hour is she made desolate now how is that by the nuclear missiles man okay okay let's go uh to the last one and this is just you know a quick little sit down showing that esau edom has not been extinguished from the earth yet, okay? <clears throat> Through precepts. All right. Let's get a... Uh, Job 31 and 3 it says it's, it's not destruction to the wicked and a strange punishment to the workers of iniquity yes it's going to be a strange punishment because the Lord is going to wreak havoc on this place all at one time just like he did in Egypt alright but it's going to be 10 times more worse okay for Esau Edom alright then he's going to go into slavery all right, because now all of them are going to be destroyed over here in America, which is Idumia, a.k.a. Babylon. But the ones that are not destroyed abroad, all right, those are the ones that's going into slavery underneath the Israelites, all right. This has to happen in order to... Uh, In order for the 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 Idumians, aka the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, Edomites, okay, to be done away with permanently. All right. So until this happens, uh, the so-called 
Edomites are still here and they are the so-called white man, okay? Because you're red, you're not white, all right? So with that, I hope that's edifying uh, for the elect, all right? Because that's who we out here fishing for. And if you can't get it by now, man, I don't think you are going to get it unless the spirit of the Most High is with you. All right. So with that, I want to say Shalom.